Hey guys, it's been a while. Um, because of some things that happened, I wasn't able to be on YouTube for the past two months. Um, and I haven't been able to cover the U.S. or Canadian championships. If anyone out there is still interested in my opinion on it, I'll be more than happy to post a video on that, but just a little bit overdue. But if anyone does want to, then I'll gladly do it. Um, I'm taking this day because actually... Um, I don't have school today, which is kind of nice. Um, but also because the four continents are starting today, so I wanted to get this prediction out before anything major happens because all the shorts are happening today, like short dance, short, pair short, men's and ladies short, all happening today. So I want to get this out there before um, it really starts happening, right? Um, after just quickly looking over the four continents and actually, I've been keeping up with skating pretty well over the past little while, even though I've been horrendously busy with university. Um, it'll be, it's not that much of a field actually for the Four Continents because from what I can tell, a lot of the skaters, it's either they're seated because of their country or it's just because they're good enough and they just like, so like there's like the strong skaters like Yuzuru Hanyu, that's, that's like Takahashi, who are in this field, and there's a lot of unknowns who are here, or just, um, in some countries where they don't, they don't have a very wide field of skaters, it's simply just, um, like, the one person that they rely on to compete for them at every major event. Um, I'll just go quickly through all of the, all of the disciples, and give you my opinion on who I think will win. Um, in the men's, um, I think Japan has a pretty solid shot at, getting on the podium, um, because they have three of their strongest men here, Yuzuru Hanyu, Daisuke Takahashi, Takahita Mura, Daisuke Takahashi was, as all we all know, the Olympic bronze medalist, and also a world champion, he has so many males behind him, he's a very seasoned skater, and an amazing one too, Yuzuru Hanyu, last year's bronze medalist at Worlds, he, I think he won the grand, no he didn't win the grand final, Takahashi, I think he won the grand final, um, but he did medal there, he's a great skater, He's adorable. I love Yuzuru. Um, Takahita Mura won Skate America this year. First time for him. Um, I don't know much about him, but he his his season has been great for him. So coming out here will be great. No, not Skate America. Sorry. Trophy Eric Bombard. Takahita Mura won T Trophy Eric Bombard. And not the point, though. Um... All three of these men are very, very strong. Yuzuru Taka and Takahashi have probably the highest chance of meddling. Like, they're basically guaranteed a medal. The only major competitors I see to them would be any of the American men because newly crowned U.S. men's champion Max Aaron will be here, as well as, I think, bronze medalist or silver medalist Ross Miner will be there too, as well as Richard Dornbush, who hasn't had the best fast few seasons, but... Um, he has, so he's still up in the ranks. Um, he had a bad season last year, but so far, not bad. And Ross Miner was second this year at the U.S. Championships. It's just really early for me to do this. Um, whew, okay. And then, in Canada, there are three men here. Elijah Bald, Kevin Reynolds, and Andre Rogazine. Out of these three men, only Kevin will be remotely close enough to get to the top five. Um, if anyone else fucks up, he might be able to get third, but that's very unlikely considering that there are six other skaters who will most likely take the top five spaces. On to the ladies. Um, it'll be a, it'll be a uh, tie between U.S., Japan, and Canada, because in Canada, Caitlin Osmond is a shining star right now. Everyone's talking about her, how she's amazing, and she's like, Canada's next sweetheart, she's next Johnny Rochette, blah, blah, blah. Um, which is true because she's had, like, a dream season. She's won everything she's been to. She won Skate Canada. She won the National Championships in Canada. I think she won Finlanda Trophy, or was it, um, one of the earlier trophies. Double Horn. Double Horn Trophy. She won that this year. She's been doing great. Um, most likely people who will win will be either Mawasada or Akiko Suzuki because those two are very strong skaters. Mawasada and Akiko are both very seasoned. Kanako Murakame is the third lady that is joining them. And Kanako, um, also very strong skater, not always as consistent and not as strong as her other two counterparts, but still miles better than most of the people here. Um, and then the U.S., you have Christina Gao, Gracie, 
Gracie Gold and Agnes Zawaski. Gracie Gold was second this year at the U.S. Championships. Christina was fifth for the fourth time. And um, Agnes was third this year, which, yeah. Um, they're both all strong skaters. Two, um, Christina and Gracie don't have as much experience in as Agnes on the on the international stage, but have the raw talent, which could take them far. And Gracie Gold has jumps that are like Yuna Kim large. Um, and then, yeah, that's what I say about ladies. Pairs, I was kind of shocked because there's only eight teams, like eight pair teams here. Like, what? Um, it'll definitely be a Canadian on the podium. Then again, there's only three countries here, Canada, China, and the U.S. Um, can uh, the U.S. pairs are still kind of new, um, if I'm not mistaken. Marissa Castellini and... Um, Simon Schnepper, they won nationals this year in the U.S., but they are very, very new onto the scene. I don't think that they will medal here because there are still three very strong pair teams from Canada. Megan Duhamel and Eric Radford are two-time national championship champion, champions. Paige Lawrence and Rudy Swagers have, haven't... I don't think they, they made a medal this year. I think... Oh my God, I'm so tired. I don't remember this anymore. Paige Jones, Rudy Swaggers, they are very seen skaters. I don't remember what they placed this year in Canadians. And Kirsten Moore, Tyson Del Moscovich were 2011's um, national champions. So I think Megan and Eric have, are basically set in, shooing for a medal, if not first place. Um, any of the U.S. teams could probably sneak their way in, but the Chinese two teams, um, Peng Cheng and Zhang Hao, Peng is Zhang's new... Um, new partner because his partner Zhang Dan had retired and she's 15 and I don't think she's powerful enough to keep up with him because he's like what like I don't know how old he's like 28 he's he's just more experienced than her in a lot of sense she in no way is not talented just that she has to get up to speed to him and it is her first season and they've done like pretty well they've gotten like fifth at one Grand Prix if I'm not mistaken and Fourth and fifth of one Grand Prix. And then the other the other one is Wang Ten and Zhang Han. I've never heard of them. So um I'm gonna leave it at that for pairs. I stand saying it'll be a tie for it'll be a, it'll be it'll be a it'll be a battle for first between um the Canadians and the Americans because there really isn't anyone else that would be contestable right now. Um Tessa Richard Scott Moyer, Mary Davis Charlie White, enough said. One of those two is gonna win. I don't I really can't tell which one at this point because um, Meryl Davis and Charlie White had the skate of their life this past championships and then at nationals, but Virtue and Moyer have been so consistent over the past little while. Ugh, hard to say right now. Um, I don't know. It's I, I'll have to see the short dance scores before I can tell you because whoever gets the lead in the short dance will more likely have a chance to win the four corners. So they've been head to head for the past like three years now. Um, Piper Gilles and Paul Poirier are another Kane team. This will be their international debut because last year Piper and Paul, Piper is an American and was American, not just Canadian. She changed her citizenship so she could compete for Canada. Um, they couldn't compete last year, um, but they got third. This year, if they're not mistaken, they were second at Nationals. Second? Let's say second. Yeah, second. Um... And then Nico Orfer and Thomas Williams were the junior champions previously. Um, Madison Chalk and Evan Bates and the Shibatanis from the U.S. are also attending. So basically the top six, as some, there's going to be some mixture of Canada and USA on the podium for Four Continents. I feel like they like reduce the amount of people that could show up here. And that being said, there were a lot of, of people that were supposed to come to Four Continents that are like very strong skaters and did not come. Example... Patrick Chan didn't show up because he wanted to do t the Worlds instead of um, going to Four Continents. And he want, and, this, and apparently, as he says, he wants to allow fellow Canadian skaters to compete. Probably because they don't want all of the spotlight on him. Um, Ashley Wagner, who I would have expected to have been here, and she was last year's Four Continents champion. She will not defend her title this year, which I find depressing because I like the way she skates. I wish she competes more. Um, and also, um, Sui Wenjing and Han Tong were last year's pair 
champions. And I think they've been out the entire season because I think Sui has some injury that she has to get fixed up. So hopefully next year they'll be with the Olympics. Um, but anyways, that is my prediction for the Four Continents. Um, if anyone wants to know anything else that happened before, like the Europeans, Japanese nationals, Russian nationals, Canadian, U.S., anything like that, if you're interested in knowing, or like even like the Grand Prix final, because I actually didn't comment on that, um, message me in the comments, and I will more than happily do that for you guys. I will I will make another video later on this week after the four hunts is over to see my thoughts afterwards. Um, I will get back to you guys later and see you.